So there I was, guys. I was in, I was in Giant. I was in my Giant grocery store. It's Giant brand. It's not, it's not actually, I mean, it is, it is a large grocery store, but it's not like bigger than normal. It's just a big grocery store. It's not big groceries. It's big and then grocery store. So um, I was in my local grocery store, my giant grocery store, and they have a red box there. And I, we were just talking about the Disney versus red box story last week and how they finally won the injunction. And I think it was Black Panther and other movies that used similar language as Black Panther. Those digital codes could not be sold any longer in red box kiosks. So I had to walk up to the red box kiosk and click the button, press the button for buy movies and then see what was available. And I found the button for digital codes and I found Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And I haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2. So this is great. And it's only $7.99 to buy a digital copy that will last forever in, 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 from, from Redbox through a digital code. And this one shouldn't be covered by the court's ruling on Black Panther and all that because Guardians of the Galaxy 2 wasn't one of the updated movies uh, at the time at least. So this might be a code from existing stock of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. So I thought maybe what we could do is open the the contents of the package together, see what's inside and and try and redeem it on on whatever appropriate website that is. So without further ado, I'll be right back. Yes, yes, I know not to show the code at all. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll figure we'll definitely figure out how to do this without showing the code um, but what i have here then is a still sealed what they do it's the same red box plastic case i guess i own this plastic case now it's the same red box plastic case that they that they output the dvds and it's even got the cutout in the back but it says smart buy your digital movie code is inside Yes, I guess I'll have to look at it first so that I don't show you the actual code. Because if you redeem, because if somebody out there redeems the code, then it's going to screw up my whole thing. I don't, I, I honestly, um, it wouldn't bother me if somebody else got the code. It would bother me that I got, that my plan here was screwed up. Okay, so what it is, the, the red box uh, thinger is empty, and then there is a, a little... Just a little envelope in it. It's like there's no no disc or anything. Um, it's empty as, aside from this packet. And let me see on this camera. There we go. I'll do this so I can look at it. So this then is the get more from your digital code thing from the inside of the of the of the DVD. Um, it looks like it's been, yeah, it looks like they just, they just, they just cut it off. It's already open here. They just cut it off and then this slips out. So it looks like what they're doing is that they just take the insert and then they literally just put the insert into the thing. And then my code, yeah, my code is on the back of the underside of this card. And, um, so there's a, there's a code in there. And so I'm not going to show you my code. But I thought maybe we could try and redeem it. So it says, enter your digital movie code on DisneyMovieRewards.com. So let's go to DisneyMovieRewards.com. You have to be very careful here. <laughs> Can't accidentally agree to anything. Enter your code to get started. So that's the thing, and I'm going to enter my code there. I haven't agreed to anything. I haven't signed up. Um, there are terms and conditions, but so far it doesn't say like by using this site, you agree to the terms and conditions. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. These are things that we have to think of. So let's go back to full screen here on my face so I can open my code here and type it in without you guys stealing it from me. Okay. So this appears to be a valid code 
And so now I have to sign up or sign in through Movies Anywhere for my Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 code that I just attempted to redeem. Now, I don't know if it's redeemed yet. Maybe if I don't go any further, maybe it's not redeemed. But we're going to click Sign Up here and see what happens. And now here's the part that I was worried about. You have to agree to the terms and conditions. And now we have to read the terms and conditions. Yes, the only time anyone will ever read them. <laughs> Please read carefully. You agree to the following terms. These terms incorporate the Walt Disney terms of use. So I need to oh, look Lord. at those too. So now we're incorporating by reference. Oh, that's great. Your content and account allow you to communicate, submit, upload, make available. We do not claim ownership. You represent, et cetera, et cetera. Hmm. Contract between you and us. Burbank, California. I've been there. You must read and agree to these terms. You may not, if you do not agree, you may not use the Disney services. The Disney services are for your personal non-commercial use. Yep, that's fine. They do not constitute legal, financial, but whatever. To support smooth operations, gameplay may be simulated. I have no idea, whatever. Uh, Disney services are our copyright and the copyright property is specific, specifically, specifically in writing. No elements Disney are used exploited in any way. Other services. You, we do not transfer title to you. So this seems to be like their generic agreement. So this probably isn't the agreement that's going to really limit or govern the codes that are used. No, probably not. Your purchase of a virtual item or in-game currency is for a limited non-assignable license. But again, I if this is my license, it's going to be assigned directly to me, then I'm not violating anything. So let's go back because that's probably not the contract that's going to govern. It's probably this Disney Movie Rewards contract. The program is a loyalty program through which individuals may purchase specifically marked products that contain codes, inside packaging. Individuals may visit Disney Movie Rewards to enroll in the program. All individuals who have properly enrolled in the program may be deemed enrollees. Eligibility. Enrollees are legal residents of the 50 states and District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Canada, 13 years or older. Okay, so far we're good. Some promotions are only available for 18 or 21 year olds, while employees, directors, officers, as well as their persons living in the same household are eligible to enroll. Such individuals are not eligible for all promotional officers, offers, including sweepstakes. Okay, such individual employees, contractors, etc. The program is subject to federal regulation, voiding Quebec. Okay. Sorry, Quebec. What did you guys do? That's what we <laughs> what did you know. do to Disney, Quebec? Quebec has its own set of, of laws and rules when it comes to sweepstakes and things like that. And uh, generally, you have to do your own thing in Quebec. Uh, and a lot of people just choose not to include Quebec for that reason. All right, I'm paging through this. Yeah, let's find the provision. I'm that not we seeing anything for. that limits me so far. Redeeming points, termination. Here we go. By enrolling in the program, enrollees agree to authorize sponsors' collection, storage, and use of personal information, the collection, storage of submitted personal information. All codes are owned by the sponsor, and enrollees may use codes only as specified under these terms and conditions. The sale, distribution, or purchase of codes outside the methods set forth in these terms is unauthorized. Sponsor specifically prohibits the transfer of codes on any online sales platform. I haven't transferred any code using any online sales platform. I have not transferred, sale, sold, or purchased the codes outside of these terms that I know yet. Sponsor reserves the right at its sole discretion and without notice or liability to impacted enrollees to restrict, suspend, or discontinue the participation privileges of any enrollee or sponsor who believes or who, who sponsor believes is engaged in fraudulent activity or has used the program in a manner inconsistent. So if they then find out that I bought this code and they don't like that, then they can terminate my ability to use it. In addition, to discontinuance of a sponsor shall the right to take appropriate administrative legal action, including criminal prosecution, as it deems necessary. Program is provided to individuals only. Points do not thing. Enrollees are responsible. So I don't 
see anything in there that says I can't use this code. The sale, distribution, or purchase of codes outside these terms and conditions, but it doesn't say you can't purchase this code from Redbox. It doesn't say anything of the, of the, of the like. Now, remember, mm. the court order language was that only, um, only the movies with the terms that were on the Black Panther box are eligible for the... Injunction. Right, but they did update the terms and conditions on this site. I think it was moviesanywhere.com and one other one. But I think they this know might not have been codes, the same site. I think they know which codes were distributed with the correct terms. And I don't think that this Guardians of the Galaxy movie would have been distributed with the correct terms. Which means the these, these I think, are the general movie re Disney yeah. movie rewards terms, not um, not specific to this code. It, it is not, I'm not saying it's not programmatically possible. You're absolutely correct. It's programmatically yeah. possible. I don't think that they made it so that it's different terms for different movies. Yeah. Let's... So my next question is, if we go back to the court case itself and the language the court used, if we search for that exact language, will we find it somewhere? Yeah, let me grab this. The, Let's the see injunction. if we can find the magic words. Yep. Um, so I'm going before I agree to anything, I'm going back to the to the court case that we looked at. And I'm going to page through here. Um, Disney filed suit. Disney changed the language in its combo pack. Disney's combo pack for Black Panther now contains an asterisk on the packaging. Inside it states, digital code redemption requires prior acceptance of license terms and conditions. I don't see that on here. Mine, mine does say code is not for sale or transfer, but again, I'm not seeing that until I get the code. So there's no license there. There's no, there's no contract there. I'm not agreeing to that. Yeah, neither was Redbox. They never would have agreed to it either. Yeah. Visit moviesanywhere.com, the paper code. Okay, here we go. Visitor to redeemdigitalmovie.com now sees a pop-up stating, all digital movie codes are owned by Disney. Digital codes originally packaged in a combination disc plus code package may not be sold separately and may be redeemed only by an individual who obtains the code in an original combination. This is, this is the language we're looking for that I haven't seen yet. Digital codes are not authorized for redemption if sold separately. You may use only as specifically authorized under these terms and conditions. So that's the that's the language we're looking for, right? Yep. So let's um let's keep going and see see what we see here. And do a search for those keywords and see if we can find it. Oh, I hadn't thought of actual keywords. Uh, let's just put digital code. Digital code singular. Um, here we go. Digital codes as part of redeeming points. That's the only one that appears there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to close this then and go back and say I do agree to, the, to create my account. I don't agree to share information about my account and I would not like to receive updates. Oh, I do have to agree to the sharing of my, of my information. Share information regarding account, video titles, and descriptions with the Walt Disney family of companies. I guess I have to. Okay, so then I'm presented with this um, option, this opportunity to get my movie, and I don't, I don't think I'm going to reveal, I'm actually play any copyrighted material on stream when I click this. But let's see what happens. If you did, it would be fair use for this purpose, so we're fine. Here we go. Here we go. This is what I was. This is what I was worried about. Also, it just revealed a damn code <laughs> to all of you. Please don't. Please don't anyone else use it. Thank you. Well, be nice. Doesn't matter because I think we found it. For combination, here we go. So it says, um, "How can I don't even know how I can block this out? I'll just cut my. There we go. I'll just cut that out." Before clicking the redeem button, please see the terms and conditions below. For combination packs, digital codes originally packaged in a combination disc plus code package are not authorized for redemption if sold separately. By redeeming one of these codes, you are representing that you or a member of your family obtained the code in an original disc plus code package. Your representation is a condition of redemption of the code and of your obtaining a license to access a digital copy of the movie. To read all the terms and conditions, you are here. If you are, if you are, if you agree, click the redeem button. Obviously, I don't agree. 
So then it tells me to come over to the movie, movies anywhere terms of use. And then what we want to look for over here is what happens with the refund. I'm literally yep. going to search for refund. Currently, Movies Anywhere does not directly handle transactions for any products. However, you may follow links within the Movies Anywhere service to purchase products directly from a connected digital retailer. All such transactions are subject to applicable license terms and conditions and will be directly between you and the digital retailer. You should contact the digital retailer for any refunds or to resolve any problems with such transactions. Now, see, that's not what the judge said, right? That is, that is not what the judge said. Yep. I wonder if there's anywhere in the terms that says, you know, for legal notices, please contact so-and-so so that you could say, I wanted a refund in compliance with this court. Yep. Decision. It says this injunction shall expire 90 days after the date of issue and absent is so showing by Disney that it clearly and prominently indicates on physical packaging or online that it's combo pack purchasers who do not agree to later disclose digital license terms may with reasonable restrictions, return codes or combo packs for a refund. Now that's a, that there, there's the question for you. Does this language here saying that a refund can be had with your digital retailer my digital retailer didn't do anything wrong. You don't have a digital retailer, period. You I don't have it from a, a physical. You brought it from a physical. I bought a physical store. thing. So this, there should be a legal address here or something, right? Let's see. Um, we want, um, was it Burbank? Yep. So we will look for uh, some of these. Oh, here we go. Here's a dispute. In the event of a dispute, you or Movies Anywhere must send the other party a notice of dispute. So we're going to send a notice of dispute to this here and ask for a refund and send a copy of our code and a copy of our thing and a printout of this redeemed digital movie, which I'm going to print right now to a PDF. And we'll send it in and see if we get our eight bucks back. What do you think of that? Love it. Hopefully, in, and hopefully in four to six weeks, we'll get a check from the mouse. So that will be fun. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely include a copy of the ruling. So, oh, yeah, we'll include a copy of the up. ruling. And if they didn't, if they don't give us a refund, I have a, I have a, a half a mind to write a friend of the court uh, letter, advise the court and the party and the opposing party that they're not complying with the thing. Oh, I love it. I have zero problem with that. It's great. I, th I think it's also important that, you know, Redbox purchased that code before the injunction uh and so um they there needs to be a way for redbox to um to sort of shift their pricing model and all of that and so what do they do with these things that they purchased thinking that they could resell it and i think the way that the judge is saying is like well Disney's going to give customers uh, a refund for what Redbox purchased, thinking that they could separate the two items, if I'm understanding it correctly. The thing that I have a problem with there is that Disney had no hand in deciding what the, what the digital code was going to cost. Yeah, the return would have to be to Disney, yeah. because it's Disney that is imposing a license after the sale. Yeah. Yeah, and they had no hand in deciding how much the code was going to cost. Like that had yeah, long, nothing to do with that. I think as long as it's a reasonable number, it's not really a problem. Yeah, because but Disney is the one that's imposing this after the fact condition. Yeah, so Disney's the fact that sorry, the yeah. fact that you know the fact that uh, Redbox is the one that determined the price, as long as it's anything approaching reasonable, I think Disney is going to be liable for that amount. And Disney does offer um, their digital only codes as as well through their website for a similar price right yeah i'm pretty sure that uh you can you can get guardians for an approximately you know 10 to 15 dollars or less price there is the issue of if somebody used that code you might not be able to get your refund well technically they're in violation too because they also are not a person that got it from this so they would not be able to well, we'll see. If, either. We'll see if any of our if, if our people do that. I don't think so. But uh, again, it's eight dollars. I'm not yeah. so terribly worried about it. We're just going to send the letter and see what happens. So we've asked our audience. And, if, to and, do. That, and that was dumb. That was really dumb, by the way, to have a 
website that takes the code and just pops it up on the screen like that. That was uh, that was not very secure. Now was it very? Was it Disney? You have this secret code. I typed it in. I took all to all this trouble to type the code in and apply it to my account separately, and it hid the code from me. And then it just throws the code up on the screen right away without any warning. Redbox should be able to return the codes for refund as well. As it purchased yeah. them, there's detrimental reliance for you. It purchased them relying on yeah, the there you go. on the language. But we bought it first, so ha ha ha. <laughs> I could talk to it couldn't have been the browser auto populating the field because he actually was taken to a different website. It went to a different site, yeah. It was yeah. third party. It posted to a third party site to movies anywhere. I had agreed to Disney Movie Rewards dot com or whatever it was, not the other one. The entertainment value of sending this letter and trying to get a refund from Disney and its partners is, is way more than the $8. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, I, this is all yeah. fine. So we'll see what happens. We were going to watch the movie for entertainment, but we can do something else for entertainment. Yeah, yeah. I really, I genuinely, this was, wasn't just a sham. I really wanted to see Guardians of the Galaxy too. And I thought that this would be a great opportunity to support the whole Redbox thing by buying it through Redbox, even though you know that that's going to be over here for Disney movies shortly. Like well, I have good news going for forward. You. It's on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I own it. I wanted to own a digital copy of it, so I could, you know. But yeah, I'll go watch it on Netflix or something. And that's our show, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I am Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney. This is a community-supported channel. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon.com/LJFrench. We have a number of excellent supporters here in the month of September. Thank you very much to Jonathan Doe, John Steele, Gavin Barnard, Evie, Andy, Kyle Mudrock, Vera Mintane, Sean McNamara, William Gonzalez, Michael Pierce, Grunkle Tia Marie, Terry Crisp, Richard Fournier, and Michael Jones. And thank you to the many, the 200 plus, $5 plus supporters that are scrolling on the LED panel behind me. And I will find room for everyone on the crawl at the end of the videos that drop this week. Oh, wait, we have to pause for a second, everyone. We have to pause. We have a visitor. Hello, visitor. How are you? Best visitor today. Having a good day. You know, I have some treats back here. What are you up to, Len? How you doing, Len? I have some treats right here. I think these were for Ilsa, though. So we have to get <laughs> Ilsa up here. Hey, Ilsa. Those are the Ilsa get well cookies. <laughs> yeah, those are Ilsa's get well cookies. <laughs> there she is. There's my girl. Do you like a get well cookie? Here, have a get well cookie. There you go. Would you like to have a get well cookie as well? Okay. Aww. So gentle. I love how gentle your dogs are now when they take treats. Like, they just... Smiley face.